All right, we're set up here. We're going to have a buzz sawing bee. We're going to cut up some of this cordwood that I prepared yesterday. And we're going to cut it up with the newly finished buzz saw. And the buzz saw is going to be powered by a hit and miss engine. So you're going to see some old time stuff here. Uh, surprisingly enough, the hit and miss engine with the large flywheels is the only engine I have that won't bog down in the middle of a saw cut. So I'm going to be paying really close attention to where my fingers are, and you boys can watch the cut while it happens. And hope like hell it don't happen to my fingers. So we put a log up on the cradle and extend it out to the correct distance. And then we tilt the cradle in. Tilt the cradle back out. Slide the log over to the next mark. And now we're starting to accumulate some wood. And we'll put another one up. You can hear the hit and miss engine when the load comes on it. It stops missing, it only hits. Here we go with another log. Well, this is the way your grandfather's done it, my lads. And I've done it myself when I was a younger man with full sight. Realize that belt isn't hanging on by much, but it's hanging on by enough over at the hit and miss engine. So that's enough to show you how the buzz saw works. It does indeed earn its keep. You can see the wood that is cut up. Now that wood is ready to go to the splitter, of course. And uh, once again, this is a Philip Duplass hit and miss engine that I built a few years ago. But uh, as I say, I believe in all my little engines and all of my models being able to do the work they were designed for. We're gonna shut down now. Thanks for watching.